permutations and combinations are the different ways of choosing objects, without replacement, to form a subset. In permutations, we care about the order in which we pick them. In combinations, we care only about them as a group. Simply put, for permutation, order is important, while for combination, order is not important. As shown here, choosing blue ball followed by red ball is the same combination as choosing red ball first then blue. In combination, we are only who is in the group, and not the order of how we list the group. Let's start with a simple example. Consider a set of blue, red and green balls. What are the different permutations of choosing two balls? It is straightforward to see that there are six different permutations. You pick blue, then red, or you pick red, then blue, and so on. Now, instead of permutations, now what are the different combinations of choosing two balls? In this case, we do not care the order in which we pick the balls, so the blue then red, and the red then blue set are just the same group. In total, we see there are effectively only three total combinations. Hopefully, now it is clear what is the difference between permutation and combination. Next, our goal will be to derive a general formula for calculating permutations. Let's consider the different permutations of choosing two balls from four balls. In the first pick, we have four choices. In the second pick, we are left with three choices since we are not allowed to replace the ball. Hence, the number of permutations of choosing two balls from four balls, which we represent in shorthand as P superscript 4, the total number of balls, and subscript 2, the number of balls to pick, will simply be 4 multiplied by 3. Or one can write it as 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial. We can try another example but now finding the permutations of choosing 3 balls from 5 balls. The answer would be 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3, or 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. With this, you should be able to identify the pattern, and we can write down the general expression for the number of different permutations of choosing our balls from n balls. This is denoted as p superscript n subscript r, which equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Next, how about combinations? For combination, the shorthand notation will be C superscript N subscript R. Recall that in combination, we do not care about the ordering. Hence in the new subset of our balls, we do not care how the R balls are being ordered. In a subset of our balls, there are our factorial ways of ordering. Thus, we should divide by our factorial if ordering does not matter. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes. Join our Free Science Academy Discord channel to discuss science and technology. High school students are welcome to join and post your questions, we will answer them during our free time.